So I made a Chainsaw Man video game. If you want to play it right now, the download link is actually in the description. But if you want to see the two straight months of work I put into this game, then stick around. All right, let me set the scene. I'm browsing Twitter, contributing to society. You know how it is. And then one day, everyone just starts talking about this one waifu named Makima and people are barking for her. So I realized the new Chainsaw Man trailer had just dropped. And after watching it, I was like, oh sick, another shonen with devils. Basically just Jujutsu Kaisen on crap. But then I was streaming one day, twitch.tv slash Arikendo, and one of my viewers told me that I should read the manga. So I did. And holy fuck did I read that bitch. I mean, it took me two days to finish it. And even after, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I just kept watching fan animations, rewatching the trailer, rewatching the PVs that they released for the manga, rewatching reactions to the trailers to the PVs. One day I was wondering, why isn't there a Chainsaw Man video game? Imagine riding the fucking shark devil into a battle against Reze, or getting sent to hell and fighting the darkness devil while he's just slicing people up. There was so much potential. So remembering that I'm a computer science major and that I've made a clone of Flappy Bird once, I was like, yeah, I definitely can make a Chainsaw Man video game. So I got to work. And the first thing to consider was, what kind of game would really make me feel like Chainsaw Man? I had to ask myself this question, and honestly, I wasn't really sure. I think a 3D hack and slash would work really well, but I'm kind of dumb, so I'm mentally limited to two dimensions. I think any Chainsaw Man video game would have to be reaction-based and action-focused. It just wouldn't make sense to put Chainsaw Man in a Fire Emblem game. Imagine Denji waiting for his turn like it's a chess game. There's no way, he just flipped the whole table. So instead of making a new type of game, I decided to copy two already great games. Mario and Osu. Now, this might sound like a weird combination, but I really wanted to combine the platforming of Mario with the precision of Osu to make an awesome, action-packed game that kind of fits with Chainsaw Man's vibes. So it'll basically work this, right? You have me, Mr. Chainsaw, and you have the enemy, who's a level one mafia member. You gotta jump around on platforms, and when you're close enough, you just click on them to kill them. In my head, it sounded like a decent gameplay loop, so I decided to actually code a quick prototype in Unity, and it played pretty well. So the next thing I had to consider for the game was the... Chainsaw Man has a total of 97 chapters. All I have is an unpaid internship and depression, so there's no way I'm adapting every single chapter into the entire game. I basically had to decide which fights I was going to add and which to leave out. I really wanted to add some cool fights that appear later in the series, but I didn't want to skip around and just mess the whole story up. So I decided to start with the first chapter only. This includes the tomato devil that Denji fights in the beginning, and the zombie horde he chops up like diced tomato in a family-owned Italian restaurant. My thought was that the tomato devil could be a really good tutorial level, and the zombie devil would be a really sick final boss after you defeat the whole horde. Now, ideally, in between each level, you'd have a cutscene or so to tell you what's going on, but I can't draw for shit, so I decided to ditch the cutscenes that I had in mind and go straight for the action. Next important thing we needed in our game was... Even if two platformers have the exact same code and gameplay, the art style and aesthetic greatly changes how you can fundamentally enjoy the game. And because art is so important to a game's identity, I didn't draw any of it. I'll be honest guys, I'm not much of an artiste, so I kind of just borrowed all my art from online. Uh, don't worry, I'm paying them an exposure guys, alright, calm down. The Chainsaw Man fandom is kind of crazy, so there's actually tons of sprite work of Chainsaw Man just lying around that I could have used. I decided to go for a smaller one since it would be easier to animate. The next part was adding enemies. Remember how I said I was going to add the Tomato Devil as a tutorial level? Well, for some reason, nobody's made fan sprite work of the Tomato Devil. Not sure why. I was gonna have to make it myself. After drawing tirelessly for a single day, I came up with my magnum opus. <laughs> Even for me, that drawing was bad. And I don't know, there's something about the hands. I just couldn't draw this tomato devil. So I decided to completely scrap it from the game and move on to the next type of enemy, which are zombies. Thankfully, there's tons of zombie sprites to borrow from the internet. So I just copy pasta that shit. The final boss and the last enemy of the game to add was the zombie devil. Unfortunately, I don't think enough people give this man love since I literally couldn't find any fan art or sprite work of him. So you know what that means. I was gonna have to draw this guy myself. After spending hours on and off stream drawing the skin colored wheezing and multiple iterations, I finally got a sprite that I was happy with. I then animated him with his weird fleshy bagpipes and we were finally done with enemies. The last piece to this puzzle is a level art. Thankfully, this is easier to find online. People make free tile palettes and publish them, which is extremely generous. By the way, all the art I stole will be credited in the description, so check it out. Our game is looking super drippy now. There's only one more part of the game that we need to finish to make it complete, which is... The soundtrack for any game can make or break it. It needs to both add value to the crazy moments that happen within the game and fit with the overall feel of it. To match the themes of Chainsaw Man, I need something violent and crazy and an almost Doom-esque soundtrack. Luckily, a talented composer online who goes by Samuel Kim 
actually made his own fan soundtrack for Chainsaw Man. Okay, pause. This is actually insane. I mean, how many fandoms just create original music for their favorite manga? Almost like, if you haven't read the manga yet, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm looking at you, Timmy, who has only watched the trailer and said you'll wait until the anime comes out. Anyway, after splicing parts of the soundtrack and looping them together, we got an infinite background theme, which plays beautifully over the gameplay. But we were missing something. When you slice up a zombie, it can't just be silent. You need to hear their guts being grinded up for it to be satisfying. So, I needed to find some sound effects. After looking around, I found a nice chainsaw sound effect. And I found a nice guts being ripped sound effect, which was weirdly specific. After adding all the music and sound effects, the game was feeling really fun and satisfying to play. The flow of killing enemy to enemy was super addicting, and honestly, I recommend trying out the game yourself if you want to. The download link, again, is in the description below. But there's still one very important part about game development that I haven't touched on yet. Someone in my chat asked me what was the hardest part about this whole project, and the first thing that popped in my head was the process of coding. The amount of null exceptions, random glitches, and just general bugs were absolutely insane. Sometimes Unity would just refuse to work, and sometimes it would give me random errors. Sometimes it felt like God himself was trying to reach me through these logs and just telling me, yo, stop programming. That shit dummy hard, man. A few bugs were so bad that it would literally take several days to completely fix. These were massive roadblocks in development and just completely ruined my motivation. But thankfully, there's a whole community of Unity developers out there that help solve common problems like I was having. After two months of hard work and stealing, I mean, borrowing people's assets. The Chainsaw Man video game was finally complete. I would really love to add more levels, different abilities like a dash, or even the option to change characters. Maybe you could become Aki or Power, but in the current state, that's just way beyond the scope of what I'm capable of. So if you'd like to see more projects like this, then make sure to subscribe and like the video. The 10th subscriber gets my left kidney. Poggers! I also did a ton of development while streaming, which was super fun, so make sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you're interested in seeing what I have in store for the future. I poured a ton of time and effort into this, so any kind of support is greatly appreciated. But most importantly, the download link for the game is in the description. I really do encourage you to download the game and try it out for yourself. Hearing what I've had to say, I wonder what you guys will think about it. Leave any criticism you have in the comments, and most importantly, thanks for watching.